The clock reads 3.15 as Emma opens her eyes. Panic starts to consume her when she realises she can't move. She remains dead still, with only her eyes to guide her. Inside she is shouting for help, but she can't even scream. She tries to wiggle and move her lifeless body. But if Emma is to survive the night, she must wait it out, as her nightmare is just beginning. What would be a welcome sound? if Emma didn't live alone. An intruder, maybe, or perhaps something worse. <sighs> Breathing increases as the horror of the situation hits her. There, in the corner of her eye, her fears become reality. Slowly it creeps. Closer and closer. Emma closes her eyes and hopes it'll all go away. Then, Nothing. A figment of the imagination, maybe. The mind does play tricks. <laughs> Emma grabs what she can for protection. She makes her way up the stairs. It's now there in her bed, waiting. Slowly she creeps, closer and closer. What lies beneath these sheets? Back to bed she goes. Emma closes her eyes. And the clock still reads 3.15. It's the middle of the night. A blue Robin Reliant pulls into an empty car park. This is Harold, a failing scientist. He's a nice guy, always putting others first. But not tonight. As no good deeds are done at this late hour. Harold knows a good spot, real quiet. But he's got to get there first, unseen. He goes off the beaten track, deeper into the woods. Not far to go now.
evening. A close one, but he's still in the clear. He'd best hurry. You don't know who else might be roaming these woods. The perfect spot. Now he must dig. Harold shows signs of remorse for an experiment gone horribly wrong. I'm sorry. That makes two of us. Harold nervously waits in his car. He's thinking to himself, how did it go so wrong? I can't go through with this. Meet James. James's world is about to change. He has a decision to make. To say goodbye and to submit to fate. Or refuse to accept the inevitable and live with the regret. James is about to learn a life lesson he'll never forget. You can't hide from death. With a child's curiosity, he follows. Another soul lost to the Reaper. James runs for his life. He finds a place to hide. James knows that room, the room he was so afraid to enter. It's still not too late to say goodbye. But he has to hurry.
He made it this time. But next time, he may not be so lucky. <laughs>